Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the error code 0x80D05001. Update status that there was a problem installing some updates, but we'll try again later. If you keep seeing this and want to search the web or contact support for information, this may help. And then it will provide an error code that I just stated, the error code 0x80D05001. And this would occur in the Microsoft Store or perhaps through Windows Update. So we're going to go about how to hopefully resolve this issue without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go jump right into it. And we're going to start off by opening up the Star menu. Type in Troubleshoot. Best match should come back with Troubleshoot Settings. So go ahead and left click on that. On the right side, select Additional Troubleshooters. And then, depending on what the issue is, we're going to start with Windows Update here. Resolve problems to prevent you from updating Windows. And then select Run the Troubleshooter. Okay, so you can see that there was some issue found with the service registration missing or corrupt, which was fixed, which is good. Hopefully that has resolved the problem. Another thing we can try if, let's say we're having a store related issue, so Microsoft Store. If you go underneath Find and Fix Other Problems and you scroll down and you go to Windows Store Apps, troubleshoot problems that may prevent Windows Store Apps from working properly, and you select Run the Troubleshooter. And you can see it might suggest signing in with a Microsoft account as one example. Again, recommend following along whatever it suggests here. And we are actually going to go reset the Windows Store once this is done, assuming that's what your issue was. And you can see it did identify some problems. Hopefully then you'd be able to go about resolving it now that you know what the problem is. Should be able to automate it as well. So if you're still having a problem, just let's reset the Microsoft Store. So just type in WS Reset. Best match should come back with WS Reset. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. Give it a moment here. And hopefully, then your issue will have been resolved. If you're still having a problem, we can run a couple commands. So let's open up a command line window. So type in CMD into the Start menu search. Right click on command prompt should be the best match. Select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And into the command line window, you want to type in SFC followed by a space and then forward slash scan now. So again, SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. This will take a little bit of time to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so it did not find any integrity violations, which is good. Now there are going to be two more commands we're going to go about running for this tutorial. And it's going to start with a DISM, and they're both going to have that. So the first one, we're just going to copy it from the description of my video. And then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here, right click on it, select edit, and then just paste it in. Hit enter in the keyboard to begin running this command. We'll take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that is done, we're going to go run one more command, like I said, copy the second one from my description, and we're going to paste it in the similar fashion that we did the previous one. Hit enter to run that. Okay, so it said the operation completed successfully. So at this point, close out of here. Restart your computer and that should be about it. And as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.